Uh, what made you choose DVF and what is different about the Dubai British Foundation from other schools you've visited before? Um, I just guess the minute I walked in through the front door, it felt like a, a family, it felt like a community. Um, I went into a few schools around the area and I didn't get that sense of a community feel. Um, it really just stood out and it immediately made my decision, to be honest. <laughs> Well, we chose uh, DBF because of the curriculum, the fact that it was a very inclusive school, and our son with his special needs, he has autism, it was a great fit for our son in terms of how close and community oriented the school is. Well, my daughter, she's been here for two years and we had originally made a wrong choice with another school and Melissa from the administrations, as soon as I called her up and said, Frantically, do you have a space? She just made me feel so at ease. And then when I visited it, well, it was the the, the lovely playground and uh, the de the swimming pool, and also for me the dedicated space for the FS1 and the FS2. I just knew that any fears that my daughter had of being a big fish in a small pond, you know, they were just going to dissipate. You know. Um, we chose DBF um, partly because my daughter was going to Jumeirah Park when we moved over from Bahrain and um, we, um, we knew somebody who had gone to Jumeirah Park before and they loved it so we wanted somewhere that we could easily move Benji from to go to Jumeirah Park. That was the initial reason um, and then we came to have a look around and um, we'd We'd booked an appointment here, we booked an appointment with a couple of other schools. We came here first, um, I cancelled the other appointments after we came because it was just such a welcoming environment when we came in. There was a few of us um, and they came for um, just a, like a mini assessment. They came in, I think they were here for about half an hour and in that half an hour I knew that this is where I wanted him to come because it was just such a friendly school, it was welcoming. Um, and so to answer the question of um, how it compared to other schools, I honestly don't know because we didn't look at any others because I was so confident that this was the right place to send him. You've been a parent with a school for a while. and How does the Dubai British Foundation value and involve parents? 100% um, um, involvement. I think um, I love the Twitter updates during the day. So you're at work and you can see what your kids are up to and the great time they're having. Um, the parent talks are excellent from first aid to safety to virtually everything. There's a, we, we, um, they welcome feedback also. If we wish to have a talk uh, put on for us, they will prepare them for us. And also, um, I think generally, just all the updates, the, the group WhatsApps, the, um, and then being involved in committees for suggested improvements and the feedback for the school. So it's, uh, it's, it's perfect. Well, we're involved right from the start. There's weekly activities that we can get involved in as parents. Uh, we're engaged in a lot of the activities that our child uh, gets to do at school. Um, so from that standpoint, we're very much involved. Well, for me, as a first-time uh, parent, um, the monthly newsletters that came out, they, and as well as the talks that happen every month, They've helped me tremendously because I really didn't know what to expect. And I always felt that whenever I needed to have a, a talk, either the teachers or the management, they were always very open to um, have the dialogue with me. Um, I think we are, parents are constantly involved. Um, we often get um, emails from the school about things that are going on. Um, we, I'm the class rep for, uh, for, my, son's school, uh, for my son's class, um, so I perhaps have a slightly better understanding of, of what is going on in the classroom all the time anyway. Um, but being that class rep, I then send that information on to all the other parents and I know that they fully appreciate the, you know, the information that we are getting. Um, I never feel that, when, well, I don't know what's going on, um, I, I feel that they always you know, are, are getting us involved. We had the, um, there was a, an activity day a few weeks ago, there was a teddy bears picnic, which um, we came to. There's a fun day um, this coming week, which, um, you know, the parents and the children are invited to. And um, so we're, we're looking forward to that. And it's just, it's nice to be involved with the school. Okay, uh, the staff at DBF, uh, please tell us a little bit about 
your experience with them? Um, yeah, the, the staff, I think they just love their jobs. They actually look as if they're enjoying it. It's not just a job to them. The, the, the important thing for me is that they seem to know um, everything about your child, what they've done at the weekend, they, they involve them, and they, they seem to uh, pinpoint if there's certain issues and work on and develop on that. So it's, uh, it's been perfect. The staff are doing an amazing job here. Oh, the staff is amazing. From the teachers to the support team to even the gentleman who's at the parking area. As soon as you walk in, you feel a sense of relief that you know your, your child is being well looked after and well taken care of. And everyone is just so accommodating. They know our son's Well, the one thing I really enjoy is that whether it's at drop off or whether it's pick up and everything's just mad chaos the kids are going backwards and you know forwards and t telling you different things the teacher will always stop and you know give them give you a time to talk about um, any you know just little conversation of what happened and and that's so, it and um, the other person who's always got time is nurse remy her door is always open. I mean, the kids are always going in and out. And as well, um, I just had a newborn baby as well when my daughter started, and she was even there just to help me with the new with the newborn. So it's uh, it's a really loving, caring atmosphere, and yeah, definitely it's that aspect and the whole secure complex. Uh, when you're dropping them off or you're picking them up, you just feel that you know your child is well looked after. Um, I think they're wonderful. When we arrived, um, Benji was very, uh, he was a very particular child, um, quite happy to play on his own, didn't necessarily want to interact with other people, and I was a little bit concerned about how he would fit in. Um, but within the first few days, quite honestly, he was so excited about coming in um, because he wanted to come and see his teachers. Every single morning he runs in and he gives them all a big cuddle because he's so happy to be here um, and and it's not just his class teachers I noticed that when we walk around you know when we've been in the school and another teacher walks past you'll say oh hi Benji or you know you know everybody seems to know who all the children are and that is so it's so important because you know then that your child is being looked after he's being cared for and he's being you know, he's being involved in, in every aspect of what they're doing from day to day and I think it's, I think it's wonderful. Um, how do you feel when you walk into the school? Oh, I, I love it. The, the important thing for me as well, or the very noticeable thing, is all the security on the gate. That, you know, they know, they know the kids' names. The, the teachers welcome you as you go into the a very welcoming lobby. Um, and everybody just, uh, everybody looks happy. There's a feel-good factor. Uh, it's a great place to walk into. I feel a great sense of relief. You come in and as a working parent you've got all the stresses of, of business life and as soon as you walk into that school with your child you know that he's in a safe environment, a very welcoming environment and that he's going to be taken care of. So that's a great relief for, for all us parents. I love, it's a really warm, caring atmosphere. It's a very colourful environment and uh, it's very safe. I mean, those are, those are the aspects that are important to me. I want my child to have a happy, warm, caring, friendly environment and at the same time know that she's um, safe and secure. Always. Um, it's, it's such a welcoming environment. It's really, it's very friendly. It almost feels, I feel as safe leaving him here as I, I, as I am being at home with him. There's no, there's never been any you know, worry about where he is. I've, the, from the moment we walk through the, you know, from the security guard who, you know, says good morning and he knows everybody's names individually as well. And that's a, you know, that's a big thing. And you just, I just know that he's being taken care of and he's being well looked after. And it's just such a safe and secure environment. And, you know, and it's so loving. They really, they really genuinely care about the children and, and, and that's lovely. What is the most important quality that you would recommend about DBF to other parents? Um, I'd say the, the, the FS1 and FS2 level uh, on its own is very important. It's not daunting for kids to come into, with, to see other larger children or older children around. Um, and also the, the, the fun and um, the, evolving, the involvement of the kids, the fun learning, uh, they, they just love it. 
they bring things home as well. You know, they, they tell you about their day. They tell you what a great time they've had. Um, and also, it's a very trusting environment. You feel as if, if everybody from security to teachers to admin staff, um, you can trust your, your, your kids with them implicitly. It's uh, superb. What I appreciate most about DBF is that they also have a sister school where level one onwards the students go to. And uh, we were informed about Samuel's transition into Jumeirah Park, the sister school, and the process has been so seamless that we sat down, discussed Samuel's needs, how they would be addressed at a larger school, but just as inclusive as, as this one. So we're really happy about that transition period and we look forward to continuing on with the school system. Well, to me, it's the it's the really um, the flexible approach that they have, but at the same time, there's a strong learning foundation. So I feel that they they're really taking um, th there's a big effort to focus on a strong learning the foundation um, because I've seen that with my daughter being with FS1, the focus on that and how it's improved on the F on what she's doing in FS2. But at the same time, you've still got that friendly atmosphere. You don't have, you don't feel like it's just all about the learning. It's important, you've got that real, that great balance. Um, I think the, the sense of it being like a family, um, because it is, everybody knows everybody, um, the staff know who you are, even if your child isn't in their particular class. Um, when you walk in in the morning, everybody says, good morning, how are you? Um, and I think, I think that gives me such a sense of well-being, knowing that you know, he's in such a friendly place. Um, it, is, it is like a family here. And I know it sounds very cliched, but it genuinely does feel like that. And when you're away from home and when you're away from family, it's so important to have somewhere that you feel that is like that. I remember somebody saying to me when we first moved to the Middle East that your friends become your family when you live abroad and, and I, I, the same applies to the school, you know, it's, you have to have trust and I mean, I mean immediately we felt that we could, you know, we trusted the school, as I say we didn't go anywhere else to even look around.